Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Subnautica. So today, as you can see, I have started work on our base. Um, this is going to be our main base for the series. Uh, it is up in the shallows by the original life pod because it's kind of easier to keep everything gathered in this area. Um, and there's not lots of nice uh, cliffs and things that make it pretty easy to build moon pools and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be our main base location. Hopefully this thing ends up being pretty large by the time we're done. But for now, um, I've just gotten started by building uh, a little bit here. I've put a hatch um, into a main tube, put a little bit of reinforcement here, and then have this three-way intersection that we're going to use um, from here on out to kind of start branching off. Uh, I am going to need some oxygen real quick. Let's go ahead and grab that so that we can continue. Okay, so the idea is, is that I definitely want to have a series of rooms here. I need to have a moon pool where I can dock um, the sea moth and the prawn suit eventually once we get that. So I think that's going to go a little bit lower down probably somewhere around here. Um, so I will have to build like downwards to do that. Let's go ahead and build another tube compartment here. Try to like remember how to flip it. I can never remember. Which way is it? There we go. All right. Brackets. Okay, cool. So um, we're going to slowly build it this way. Now I did add reinforcements here because it makes it a lot easier to just build without thinking too much about it. Um, I am definitely going to have to use a vertical connector here at some point to build an actual moon pool. All right, but let's go ahead and keep building this way a little bit. All right, and then I want to build a multi-purpose room over here because they're super useful. They're also very, very large. There we go. I love all of the little... <laughs> yes, I know. I love it. Um, okay, so I do like this multi-purpose room being here. Now, I also want to build it um, up and down a little bit. So I may build this one as a two level. Let's go ahead and combine these. Oh, I need more titanium. Beautiful. That is going to be the limiting factor with all of this, is getting enough titanium to actually build the bases um, in the way that I want and to keep making, uh, keep getting more resources because bases are super expensive to build in terms of titanium. They do take a lot. Lucky, luckily, titanium is pretty easy to come by, but um, it's going to be a bit of a pain while I kind of work it out. All right. We should be able to finish this multi-purpose room now. There we go. I like it. That looks a lot better already. I like it a lot. Okay, and then I'll probably put the moon pool um, kind of, kind of off over here. I think that's how that's gonna go. Let's go ahead and take a quick look inside, just see how it's looking. Now, I don't have any power in this space yet, so it's going to be um, oxygenless for now. Okay, so I built those multi-purpose rooms together. I forget how to connect them. <laughs> that is the biggest issue, is uh, I do sometimes forget how to put the base pieces together. They should have connected automatically if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why they didn't. All right, I really don't know why those pieces didn't connect. Interesting. I may have to deconstruct this. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. It's not ideal, but I definitely don't want to build something unless the pieces are going to go together. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be very much of a useful base. All right. Get some air. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now because the main thing that I'm going to build is going to be over in this direction. 
Um, this is going to be my main multi-purpose area. Let's go ahead and flip this around. Yeah, we're going to have a few of these. I'm going to go ahead and put in a huge connector here. And then I think right here, uh, I'm going to have one of these. So this will be like my main bedroom. Cool. Okay. So, so far, so good. That's my main bedroom. Over here, I want to do another one. And I think I'm going to make that um, my power source. I do need more titanium always. What is with the light on this sea glide? I don't like it. Go away. All right. I am going to need... <laughs> More stuff. I need more stuff. So much more stuff. That works. Is there more titanium in here? Hi, Blowfish. Nope, that hurt. Nope, that also hurt. There we go. I was just looking for those, and I keep getting uh, pummeled by those little fish. Just needed more titanium. Well, I can do part of it. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the rest of this metal salvage, um, get that going, and then I'm going to put in another multi-purpose room over there, and we're going to try to construct a bioreactor, because I do actually happen to have all of the pieces for a bioreactor, which is pretty great. I could put in a thermal plant, but I need aerogel for that. Um, what I can put in is this bioreactor, so... There we go. Um, I do need more titanium, I do need lubricant, and I do need a wiring kit. So I'm going to go ahead and collect up all the pieces for that. Oh, that's what I needed. I'm silly. Okay, cool. So I can build all this. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a whole bunch more titanium, guys, um, and all the pieces for a bioreactor. And I will be back in a little bit uh, when we're ready to kind of put some of these other modules in and get some power going to our base. So I will see you guys in a few minutes here. All right, guys, so we are back and I think we have enough materials to install this bioreactor here. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this um, hopefully pretty quickly here. All right, let's get this going. Perfect. Whoops, I just ate that peeper. I meant to put it in there. Um, okay, so we need to get some stuff that we can actually use for um, for getting some of this uh, the power systems online here. I also want to start putting in some storage because I am going to collect a whole lot of materials off cam so that it goes a little bit smoother for the rest of the series here. So let's go ahead and grab just a couple pieces of creep vine which should be enough to get this thing powered a little bit. Um, it won't be perfect, but it'll at least get us going, get a little bit of power into the base, and uh, yeah, hopefully keep us having a little bit of oxygen. Now I may also put some uh, solar panels in here just to, I keep doing that, I keep eating them. There we go. Power restored, all primary systems online. All right. Cool. So, uh, not a ton of power here, but it's definitely going to help. I may put a solar panel in on top somewhere just to kind of keep it a little bit, um, I don't know, just to kind of make a backup source because I really don't want to run out of, uh, of power here with the bioreactor. That would not be an ideal situation. So I may look for a little bit of quartz here as well. Already. Ow. Oh man, I hate these fish. That hurts so much. And they're actually hard to spot, and now I'm all disoriented. There's another piece of quartz, that's good. Alright. <laughs> well, I got the quartz I wanted. Man, those fish are like the worst. Um, okay, let's head back over here. I'm definitely going to put in uh, one power solar panel up here on the entrance. 
I probably won't build too much else over here. This is just to kind of keep it, keep it running just in case the bioreactor um, runs out of stuff, like I'm not paying attention, this will really help to keep keep things online. Welcome aboard, Captain. I love it. All right, so we're doing good. We have a bioreactor here. We have a multi-purpose room here that's gonna be kind of like a living area. And then down that away, we have another multi-purpose room that um, I am going to connect to the floor beneath and we're gonna turn it into something like super cool. I did realize that I need to put ladders in to be able to do that, but first I wanna install some storage here. Yas, wall storage. I love it. Okay, we're gonna put a lot of wall storage in here. Um, yeah, let's just start with this wall locker. And a second one. Okay, they won't be perfect and they'll kind of stick out a little bit because of the reinforcement here I have on the hole, but um, I think that's going to be okay. Basic idea is I need as much storage space as I can possibly get, so it's not beautiful. <laughs> it's definitely not beautiful. These are not lined up well. In fact, I may fix them at some point, but for now, um, it's nice just to have a little bit of storage Right when I come in, um, I have some places to dump some items if I need to, so I can actually gather a few more materials here and have things going the way I want. All right, now also, because this is going to be my living area, I do want it to kind of look nice, so I do want to install a window here. Let's go ahead and install one this way. Nice, that way I can see my life pod, I can see the shallows. The least scary part of the Subnautica map here is uh, is what I'm looking at, which is kind of nice. I do enjoy that a lot. Um, all right, let's see. What else can we do? I do need to put in a radio and a fabricator. So let's put in the fabricator. I think... I think I'm going to put the fabricator over here. Um, the fabricator is going to be part of like a workshop area. So this upper floor of this multi-purpose room is going to be a workshop. Beautiful. So now I have this, which is fantastic. I'm going to be able to do a lot with the fabricator in here. All right, let's see. I am completely out of titanium now. I have one more piece, which is awesome. Um, Cool, thank you. Cool. I also want to be able to put in an aquarium, which is going to take a little bit more. Um, I do need more silver to get a battery charger going, which is going to be super useful. And I do want to install, now that I've remembered how to make it a thing, um, I am going to install another multi-purpose room here and make this a too high room. So I do need a little bit more titanium. But uh, yeah, once I do that, I can put in some ladders. They'll connect. It should be, should be pretty good. Let me see if I can get up here. I do have a little bit of titanium stored. Or I did. Yeah, there we go. Just enough to finish this off. All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Beautiful. It takes so much titanium to build a decent base. Oh no, I'm one short. Of course I'm one short. Please be titanium. Yas. Perfect. I'm always one short with these things. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to connect those with a ladder. Let me just uh, <laughs> search around for another piece of scrap metal, which is like the easiest way to get... Um, to get this titanium in the first place. Now, I do also need stalker teeth for uh, enameled glass to make an observatory, which is on my list of things to do. Yes, that's what I needed as well. But um, stalker teeth are actually really hard to spot, so I think we may have to build a scanner room first and see how that goes. There we go. I've got enough metal salvage here to make a thing. I love it. This base is going to be really big and I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, let's go in here, make our salvage stuff, put in some ladders, 
And then we should be in pretty good shape overall. We have like the very bare bones of a base, which I love. All the titanium. All right, let's, yes, let's connect. Nice. Okay, so we've officially connected these pieces, which um, is super awesome. And I believe that you can actually uh, build something in the base here. And if you can extend it, you just build it and it will continue on up, which is cool. But for now, um, I just have these ladders connecting these pieces, which works out great for me. Okay, so is there anything else I absolutely have to build today? I think... We definitely need an aquarium, which I'm going to put down in the bioreactor room so that we have power going um, all the time. I'm going to put fish in it. It's going to be great. I just need to get some quartz. It is very large. All right, so I need glass and titanium for this thing in particular. This is going to be a massive base, guys. I'm so excited. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few more materials here. I'm gonna start filling up those lockers. Um, and then I'm also going to grab the stuff that we're gonna need to build a scanner room, which I will probably do um, off of the bioreactor room here, probably right off the front or possibly even right on top, depending on how that goes. And yeah, I will bring you guys back in a little bit when we get all that done, just to kind of show you the mostly finished product of the base. Um, now that it's mostly in shape to start um, filling up with stuff, yeah, I think it's gonna be great. This is gonna be really useful for like continuing on in the series later on. Okay, so I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so we are back and I think we finally have gotten to a resting point with the base at this point. So, yeah, um, I think it looks pretty good. I do have a double stacked multi-purpose room here. Um, again, kind of the living quarters area here, bioreactor and an observatory here, which I've put a desk and a chair in just so that it's kind of like a nice little office space overlooking these uh, creep vine forests and then a scanner room as well. So I've done actually quite a bit here in terms of gathering materials and getting everything ready to go. So I have um, a bunch of boxes, which are all labeled with the different things that I uh, am collecting at the moment. And they will continue to grow, obviously, because there are a lot of resources in game. Um, I did manage to make this battery charger, so I have a couple of batteries charging, which is awesome, so I can stop just making extras. And then fabricator here, and then the current project materials here, um, which I can collect as I go along, which is pretty great. Yeah, so it kind of gives me a nice place to put everything. And then obviously I have um, a second floor here, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet, but uh, hopefully something. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the other base pieces before we end off here. So let's go ahead and start with the bedroom. Um, I do have the window. I did put a double bed in here and I'm probably gonna add other pieces in here as we go along. This is essentially a purely decorative room except that I can actually sleep um, whenever it gets late and then uh, that way I can skip the nights, which will be great. I also have this lovely scanner room, which is pretty amazing, and I already went ahead and made um, the range extender, which is going to be useful for gathering materials, which I absolutely love. And we do have three cameras already, and the stalkers have pulled this bright one here down and are playing with it, which is great, but that's okay. They're stalkers. Um, it's what they do. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'll be able to actually go through... Um, search through all of these different items and hopefully have an easier time collecting stuff once I get the hood chip, which is right here. Now I do have magnetite, I just need to make a computer chip for that and then I'll be able to uh, collect stuff a lot easier. Okay, so um, bioreactor is doing great. I've currently started putting creature eggs in there because they're a little bit more effective. They tend to last a little longer. Um, I do have this beautiful aquarium, which I have a few fish in, in case I get hungry. Lots of peepers. 
it's nice. It's a good aquarium. I'll probably put a second one in here at some point as well. And then I do have, obviously, my observatory with this beautiful, uh, beautiful view here and my lovely work desk, which I think looks pretty amazing, even if it doesn't actually do much. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I think it's awesome, and I'm really excited to keep working on this base and make it just like... Um, a really, really nice place to hang out and collect things and have all my stuff. I will unfortunately have just like a ton of lockers. I'm gonna have so many lockers. There are so many different materials on this game to collect and honestly you can just never have enough. Um, let's go ahead and stash some titanium here. Just because we can. <laughs> yeah guys, so um... I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off there since we do finally have like a functional base. So in the next episode, guys, I do plan to go and explore that, uh, that wreck right there, Life Pod 19, because we do need to start getting some aerogels and things like that. Um, and we need to find the other pieces of the moon pool so we can add a moon pool to our base uh, so that we can dock our sea moth, uh, which will be very useful as well. And then from there on, um, yeah, it's just going to be exploring Rex, continuing on with the storyline, and hopefully, hopefully we'll find some really good stuff, guys. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. If you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.